technologists, we have a well-defined readiness and upgrade plan. A lot of organizations set aside budget. A lot of individuals spend a lot on online courses and attending various courses. Uh, not everyone can be like you, you know, who can absorb a highly technical content and use that in a sales pitch effectively. So how do you define the readiness quotient of a sales professional? What, what do you mean by readiness for sales? Wow, it's a great question. In fact, I mean, the way to address the journey is to look at how do you hire good salespeople? In a lot of places, I mean, people hire salespeople and they're wondering why the hell do I have these people, right? Because they are not delivering. <laughs> so you have to first look at what are the competencies that we need to look for hiring? So I have five different competencies and you will have to start looking at, do people fulfill these? And these are very simple. Hungry, humble, smart, disciplined, team player. Right? Now, in a lot of cases, what I've seen working with salespeople, there is a lot of smarts. They are disciplined, but the fact is hungry, humble and team player is missing, right? So we've gone into a culture where we celebrate the hero, but not the team player. So right. when you think about readiness, the first thing that we need to look at is this foundational characteristics of salespeople, have we addressed it or not? That's point number one. The second thing that we need to do is what I say, define a profile for the future which means what is my profile of a salesperson for 2025 and then rehire people for the role, right? And that is when you'll realize that perhaps in some organizations, they mistake tenure for competence. Just because you've been in the company for 10 years doesn't make you smart, right? So what we have to start looking at, is there a profile of excellence that we can start uh, rehiring people for, correct? And the third and the most important element of readiness is primarily what I look at is the breadth and diversity. So normally in a salesperson, you would look at it as T, which means what are the depth profiles you've done? What are the breadth profiles you've done? So have you been in sales? Have you been in service? Do you understand uh, business? Do you understand technology? Right? So are you crisscrossing through all of these in your journey? Because if there is no diversity, then there is no innovation. Right? So what you're looking at is, hey, these simple five characteristics, right? The ability to be relevant in the future and the ability to balance depth and breadth. That really tells you, do I have the right person on the team? Or not? <laughs>